Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. My name is Jenny, and I hope you decide to join the family by subscribing. I'm super excited because today's video is part of a spring tear tray collaboration. I'm so excited to be in this playlist with all my talented friends. We have Lenny from Crafty Lenny. We have Catherine from A Perfect Place to Start and Lisa Marie from Crafting My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I just want to thank the talented Rebecca Jane. She is the host of this wonderful collaboration. She is so talented and she supplied us all with these beautiful kits to create for our tear tray. I'm super excited to show you all what she sent me and also there's going to be a discount code so that you can purchase something as well. This is the kit that I was sent. Oh my god. All of these pieces were so perfect for what I wanted to use. And so what I'm going to share with you first is what I was sent. I'm going to take everything out of the package so that you can see everything that I got. Now, I am not doing a tear tray. I am going to do a tray that I style on my dresser. So all of these were perfect for what I want to do. So this is a lot of stuff that she supplied. So what I'm going to do is go over each piece so you can see what I have. So here is the first package and it has this little square piece that you can create a nice little picture frame and here is the little wood frame that goes around it. It also come with this cute little bunny wood cut out and this little piece that you can use for the tail. This next set is so adorable. I love this one. She supplies the jute cord in this package along with these beads. And it's like half of bigger beads and it's some smaller beads. And here is the little tag. Oh my God, this is so cute. And this cute little bunny cutout. That one may be my favorite, but all of these are so adorable. How cute is this one? So this is a set of different sizes eggs i thought this was so cute so it comes with a few little wood cut out flowers now what i like about this is you can use these for other projects these are super duper adorable and it has a little stand here that after you create your little decor piece you can add it to the stand and it just sticks right in there oh my god these pieces are just adorable now this is cute look at the little bunny head cut out this little round piece and it's some more of those little flowers now this next piece <laughs> I love this. Look at these cute little bunnies. So it's three of them. These are super adorable. And this has the little stand that you can style them in as well. I love these. I'm definitely excited about these. Also, I really like that you get so many different pieces and you can switch them up, add different items. And how about this cute little set here to create garland. It comes with the string and it has these cute little bunnies that already have the little holes in them. And some more of those little miniature wooden florals. Oh my God, these are so cute. I absolutely love this set and it is totally worth it. You can do so much with this. Also, in the pack, it came with some other little wood cutout pieces where you can use for stands. And I'm going to show you. They're pretty simple and easy to assemble. And so, like this little piece here, you just slide that right through there. And then you can display some of your little projects on there. So, I'm going to show you how cute was that. So, for my first project, I am going to use these three little bunnies and the little stand. And so for these bunnies, I'm going to use this tan color. I have this Merlot color. And I'm also going to be using this cafe color to color the base. And I'm going to mix these two colors together to create this pretty minty green. So what I'm basically doing is just going over one of the bunnies with this color. Now I am creating these pieces, trying to do like a colorful vintage look, if that makes sense, I'm not sure. But I wanna style these pieces on a tray that I keep on my dresser that holds some of my perfume bottles. So I thought these would be perfect for that. So I'm gonna 
color, I mean paint, I said color, I'm gonna paint the other bunny using that pretty Merlot color. I think this is so beautiful. And then I'm going to use that tan color to paint the last little bunny piece. And then for that base, I'm just gonna use that cafe color to darken up that base. I originally wasn't going to paint the base, but I was like, for this one, I'll just go in with that um, cafe color to darken it up. So once I have all of my bunnies painted, I have these really pretty transfer stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to cut out some of those stickers to add to the little bunnies. I think they are so cute and they kind of have like this cute little vintage look. So I'm just going to cut out these little flowers and I'm going to add one to each one of the bunnies. So don't forget to check the description box below because in the description box I'm going to have the link to all of my Crafty Friends channels along with Rebecca's channel and the link to this set so that you can be one click away from checking it out. Also in the playlist you're going to be able to see the sets that all of my friends had and see what they created. There's going to be a discount code so that you can receive a percentage off of this set or any set that you see that you may like these are absolutely adorable and i am so pleased with the amount of items you get per set so now that i have all of the little florals transferred over all i'm going to do is add my little bunnies to the stand and as you can see i'm just adding a little hot glue so that they can stay nice and secure and how cute is that at the end of the video i will show you how i displayed them on my cute little perfume tray now for the next one i'm going to be using these pieces from this set i'm not going to be using these flowers and that round piece i'm just going to be using this bunny head first i want to create a simple little bunny head to style on my tray and i am going to be using that tan color all i'm going to do is give this bunny head one good coat of that tan color I absolutely love bunnies and I always change the decor up on that tray for whatever season it is and I just love the bunnies for the spring and so after I get that complete all I'm going to do is take another one of those little floral transfers and I was trying to see why I want to add it but I think I'm just going to place it right on the ear and transfer that over I didn't want to do too much to this I thought that these little Decor pieces will be perfect style with my perfume, giving me that really pretty vintage look. So after I transfer over that floral, that will be it for that piece. And I think this is super adorable. And I can't wait to style this on my tray with my other decor pieces. So what I'm going to do is get ready for my next piece. And what I'm going to use for that is that round piece that came in that pack. I'm going to use that Merlot color and just paint over this piece. Once I get that complete, I am going to use some of those little wood florals, the little wood cutouts, but I'm not going to paint those because I want to keep them the natural color so that they could blend in with the other decor pieces and I'm just going to pick out the ones I'm going to use and I am just going to hot glue them on there but first I'm going to take this little transfer sticker off that sheet and I like this one because it says rose perfume so I thought this was perfect for the perfume tray this is going to be kind of like the sign for my little tray so after I get that transferred over I'm just going to take some hot glue and start hot gluing some of those little wood floral cutouts right around This little set is so fun to work with. I think you just get so many little pieces that you can use for different projects. Now what I'm going to do is use that little stand to display my perfume sign and I think it came out so cute. Very simple but it's going to be so cute styled on my tray. Now my next project is going to be this tag set. I absolutely love it. I'm going to use the tag 
I'm going to use the Jew cord and the beads and I am going to save the bunny for a future project. Now what I'm going to do is use that mixture of paints that I put together to create this pretty mint green and I am just going to paint over this entire tag front and back. And once I get that complete, I'm going to use another sticker off that transfer sheet. And it had this really cute little page with a pen. And I thought that was so cute. So what I'm going to do is cut that out. And I'm going to transfer that right to the center of my little wooden tag. I also love that these sets are so perfect and everything is so nice that all you have to do is add a little color and you have something so adorable. So once I get that transferred over, what I'm going to do is take that jute cord and I'm just going to string it right through the hole. And what I'm going to do is add a little glue to the tip so that it will be easier. And then I am going to pull the string together because I'm going to add these beads on the double string. And I'm gonna add some hot glue to the tips of both of those strings so that my beads can fit on easily. And then what I'm going to do is add two of the bigger beads and then one of the smaller beads. And I'm gonna continue that until I run out of the smaller beads and then I'll just finish off with the larger beads since it was more of those and I think this is super duper adorable and once I get all of my beads on there what I'm going to do is just take the remaining jute cord and just wrap it around my fingers and then I'm going to take another little piece of jute cord and just hot glue it around the bottom as you can see I'm just gathering the little row that I wrapped around my finger and I'm just going to take some jute cord and hot glue it around the bottom. And so what I'm going to do is just cut off the little extra cord, tack it down with some hot glue. And then what I'm gonna do is take the scissors and just cut through the loops and then I'll have a cute little tassel. This was really simple, but I absolutely love it. I think it turned out so cute. Such adorable pieces. I just want to say thank you, Rebecca Jane, for sending me this lovely set. I think everything came out so cute, and I love the way it is styled on my perfume tray. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching my video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these were your favorite. Favorite. And remember, today's video is part of that spring tear tray collaboration hosted by the talented Rebecca Jane. Please check the description box below for all of the information. It's going to be the link to the playlist, the links to my lovely friend's channel, along with the link to this set that Rebecca sent me. I'm also going to have that code in there so you can receive a percentage off of your purchase. Thank you all so much again. And until next time, my friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.